Hello, this is Adam from Wheel Guns for Wheel Men, and today we will be making macro patties. Um, that's JD in the background if you hear barking. That's my Vishla. He's a good boy, bestest boy. Now, you may notice I have a Spiritus Bank Robber Mag Carrier. Well, um, it's also good for cooking, I've learned. You keep your spatula right here. You've got some uh, can opener right here. Knife. Works great. Um, and so the first thing you'll need, of course, for macro patties, is a 15 ounce can of macro. You also need two eggs, which will act as a binding agent for the half cup of breadcrumbs that you will need. So you'll need a cup measure. You also need two tablespoons of mayonnaise and one tablespoon of classic yellow mustard, French's preferably, and then about an eighth of a cup of shaved Parmesan cheese. And then I like to add just a little bit of paprika to taste and a couple, you know, sprinkles of nutmeg. You also need a skillet. And if you're going to be making them one at a time, like I do in a small skillet, um, find that it works best, you know, cooks them all evenly. Uh, I keep them warm by just setting the oven to 300 degrees and throwing them in a, you know, a little pan as I heat up the other ones. Uh, now, if you're gonna do it this way, I wouldn't cook them as long on the skillet as I would otherwise, uh, cause you don't want them to get overcooked in the oven. Uh, and we'll be using sauerkraut and mustard as my topping once they're done. And then also for the side, potato salad, um, homemade by the people at Walmart, it looks like. All right, so now let's get started. Um, I'm not gonna film the entire process of me flipping each patty on the skillet and throwing them in the oven. That's why I just described that process. Uh, you're gonna wanna brown them on both sides. They should look like the cover photo for the video, which I will post, of course. Uh, but really, we just wanna get through making them. And one of the main things I want to show you is the trick I use to make sure they're all the same size. So first off, you need to dump your macro out. Uh, you can use salmon. This could be a salmon patty video if you just substituted in salmon for the fish. Now, one of the fun parts about canned fish is that you can eat the bones they're all very mushy and melt away, except for the spine bones, which you can eat. It's just they're not as mushy, and so most people remove them, throw them away. But again, if you miss some of the little spinal column bones, they will just be a little bit extra crunch. Also, I think I'm gonna put a pizza cutter in this uh, Spiritus mag carrier and pretend I'm part of the Italian Special Forces or something <laughs> next time around. Really hope people with PX4 carbines don't bust through my door tomorrow being offended. <laughs> uh, sounding like Mario and all. Okay, you're then going to want to grab a, a fork or something and just mush up the fish because the fish comes in like three to four chunks normally. Break it up, flake it, however you want to describe it. Also, if you do miss a bone and then choke and die, I'm not liable. As a lawyer, I love adding disclaimers to everything. Speaking of, if you haven't seen my video on the Springfield Armory lawsuit against the EAA, I would go watch that. And I will have a Kyle Rittenhouse video coming out tomorrow, most likely. Which 
be Sunday. This should be up Saturday night if all goes well. Now, you're going to want to wash your hands off <laughs> and then pour the breadcrumbs in to the cup measure. So you get about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, maybe a little less. Dump those in evenly, kind of spread it out. Okay. Got some fish juice on my spoon, it looks like. So, get a clean spoon. <laughs> and, so you can also use a tablespoon measure if you're fancy, but I'm just going to literally take a tablespoon, so to speak, and fling in two spoonfuls of mayonnaise. Then do the same thing with some mustard, which you should shake well before trying this. Oh, much better. Couple, you know, a dash of nutmeg, a dash of paprika. Don't forget the Parmesan cheese. I've done that a couple times before. <laughs> And now you just take that fork that you use to flake up the fish and you stir in the eggs and the mayonnaise and the breadcrumbs. That way the breadcrumbs and the fish stick together, have some flavor. Though surprisingly mackerel tastes pretty good on its own. I've eaten mackerel straight from the can. It's no different than sardines really, straight from a can in olive oil or water. And again, you can really substitute in salmon. Um, you could probably substitute in sardines. I, I wouldn't. I've never made sardine patties, but I'm certain you could. You'd probably stick together and make patties just fine. Gotta stir it all up. Stir the pot. Also, since I'm bored, I'll talk about guns real fast. Um, I saw a cool gun today. It's called the Tanfoglio Appeal. It's a little 22 bullpup rifle that just looks like it's from Starship Troopers or something. I'm not sure how good it is because I've never actually shot it, but I saw it online and I like the aesthetics. Some people might think it looks stupid. I think it looks pretty cool. I'd check it out if I were y'all, if you get a good deal on it. It's fun to have a little 22 plinker laying around, even if it's not a very good rifle, just it's for plinking. And looking cool. Now, add a little bit of olive or vegetable oil to the skillet and get it heated up a little bit before you put your first patty in. I uh, set it to medium heat. Seems to work just fine. Maybe a little bit past medium to begin with. And the trick here is these little glass or ceramic ramekins that you get from Costco. Uh, they have little desserts at Costco, like four and eight packs, and they 
you come with these glass and ceramic ramekins so you can reuse them, which is nice. Um, unless you buy a lot of them, you probably nowhere to store them, it gets annoying. But for me, I don't shop at Costco often, so it works out nicely to have a few ramekins. And I find that these little circular ramekins are perfect to make even sized patties. And you also know how much you would get out of each can. For instance, with this specific ramekin, which I did not measure with a ruler, I don't know exactly what the dimensions are, but this one makes five patties per 15 ounce can combined with all the ingredients. If it was slightly bigger, you get four patties. If it was a smaller ramekin you have, you'd probably get six or seven patties. But I just like consistency. And so, you know, I kind of pack it in there real nice, make sure I don't get too stuck. If you leave it there for more than about 30 seconds, it's really hard to shake out into the skillet. But otherwise, it slides right out like that one did. There's one little round cat food looking circle. Looks like a hockey puck. Then you use your tactical spatchy spatch and just flatten it a little bit. Make it brown on one side, flip it over, do it again. It takes about two to three minutes on the heat I have it on. And it looks like that in this small skillet I have. A spatula that takes up like most of the skillet. So again, grill on one side for three minutes, flip it over to the other one for two minutes. Uh, you might need a little bit longer to cook it thoroughly if you aren't going to be putting them in the oven um, while the last couple cook. I normally put the first three in the pan, then I put those three in the oven while the last two cook. The last two don't really need to be in the oven because they're fresh enough and hot enough. That's why I do. You can also try to use a bigger pan and do all of them at once, but I just do them individually because it turns out consistent in quality. Anyways, if you have any requests for uh, recipes you want me to try out uh, or for gun videos, just let me know. Also, please like and subscribe. Thank you.